Dwayne Pinnell here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV and I'm in Belton, Missouri. I'm standing in a 2022 Renegade Verona. This is the 40 VBH, so it's a bunk bed model. And as you can see, as we look around via the camera, it's a really, really nice coach with great wood. It's a medium wood, I would call it. It's not the darkest of the woods. It's not the lightest of the woods, but you can see the appointments on here, the great woodwork, solid wood cabinets, great hinges, keeps it completely open for lots of storage all the way above your seating surfaces here in the living space. To my right is the kitchen with a solid surface countertop. You have a single vessel um, composite sink here. Nice covers. And I'll make a mention while I'm here of the shades throughout the coach. Throughout all of the coach except for the front, you have day and nighttime shades. And they're very, very nice, got a great texture. You can open them up, get some daylight, and at nighttime you can certainly get some um, privacy in the coach. Great faucets in the coach. You've got the polished or uh, brushed silver here in the in the the faucet. Removable covers for your induction cooktop. That's a two burner induction cooktop. Very nice glass tile as a backsplash here microwave convection oven you have your electronic components here that's why we've got the glass door so you can read it with the remote control space everywhere even goes back into the corner here which you can also access from the side so nothing's going to get hung up back in the corner that you can't easily get to whenever you're storing things there and below great cabinet space as well even a place for a trash can which a lot of times is forgotten in the coaches unfortunately and I'm just going to open some of these show you all of the drawers very very nice drawers that have full extension and with a soft close this has hydronic heat and you can see the register here as a heat vent and then again you've got some circuit breakers here very easily accessible. Pantry, nice and deep. Shelves above, full extension. Drawers, this is a shallow drawer, but they start getting deeper as you go down. So lots of room for cans, things of that nature, cereal boxes, plenty of room up above for those. And I'm gonna walk this way toward the entry. Now you have an entry just behind the cockpit here because we're in a Super C. The Verona is a Super C and we have a 350 horsepower uh, Cummins engine in here. You've got an Allison transmission. You have 20,000 pound tow. Now a lot of people like the Super C's because of that tow capacity. It gives the opportunity for pulling a large trailer, maybe with cars, motorcycles, anything like that that uh, you want to take along to enjoy while you're on your trip and a lot of the race car drivers in the NASCAR circuit and, uh, and otherwise will use a Super C because of that high tow capacity. Now are there are some Super C's with a higher tow, tow capacity than the Verona here, but again for this size coach at 40 foot it's got plenty of tow capacity with that 20,000 pound hitch. The TV I've got angled here just to show you that it does do that. Whenever it's stowed away, it stows completely and firmly against the wall with a sound bar. As I said, the entry is right here behind the cockpit. Your battery disconnect just inside the door to the left, so you can turn the power on in the house side. You have your leveling jacks also very easily accessed right here on the side of the kitchen cabinet. And then I'll show you the front because the cockpit, he cockpit here is very nicely laid out with the M2 chassis, which is what the Verona sits on. You have a steering wheel that does telescope and tilt just a little bit. Both of these seats in the cockpit area will turn toward the rear so you can add to your seating space for any guests that you might have just over to uh, have a little party or get together. You've got plenty of room for that and everything very nicely laid out. Not going to go into great detail for it because it's uh, pretty much just the typical 
uh, M2 chassis that Freightliner produces. Now the thing about a Super C, and some people ask the question, why would I do a Super C versus that of a Class A? Well, a lot of people like it for the accessibility to the engine. Makes it very, very easy for a mechanic to work on should there be the need to do that, rather than at the back of the coach where if the radiator's behind that engine, they have to remove the radiator in order to get to it. Um, so it's just out there in front, very easy to get to. And the other thing, a lot of people who might have a little bit of hesitancy about driving a Class A would possibly be more inclined to drive a Super C like this because of the familiarity. You do have something out in front of you like a, a truck that you might have driven or a van or something like that where you've got a little bit of a nose out here rather than the blunt front like that Class A has. Again, just want to show you this. These do turn around and I'm going to draw these curtains because it makes for a little bit better video as far as lighting. And then I'll point out up here, we do have the bed that slides forward. This upper mattress then goes to the back uh, the void space and creates a sleeping space for two in this Verona. The people up here also have access to a nice TV on the wall and this now is equipped with a sunlight here or, or um, skylight and you can open it up and retract it from just here so easy to up and down to create a lot of natural light if you want to and then close it down I'm going to point out you've got some cubby space here also for the folks. Maybe it's a, a phone that they need to store there while they're sleeping. USB ports here, electrical, so it makes it nice and convenient for those people who might be staying uh, or sleeping up in this area. So as I come to this side, which is the passenger side, this sofa actually makes a bed. And so it's a, like a trifold bed. I'm going to tuck that right back down there. And then you've got USB ports throughout the coach, a lot of electrical throughout the coach. Makes it very, very easy to plug in for as many people as you need. And I'd say this coach probably sleeps fairly comfortably, at least seven people, uh, potentially eight, because the dinette also makes a bed. Drops down, however, it's a little bit shorter this way, so someone who may be a little bit shorter in stature could sleep well there. Great light fixtures both up here and on the wall as you see. You've got your lighting switches here, very easily marked, nice there. And again, I mentioned already the above cabinets, plenty of space in there. And then moving on back, I'll show you, this is some of the brains of the unit. So you can do a lot of the things that this coach will do. You've got the leveling here, Go to the home screen, we've got everything light out. You've got a light master. It shows you the temperatures here. You've got your tank levels right there and then your battery levels also. I can go to the lighting controls and specifically go throughout the coach and uh, turn on the lights or turn them off where I want to. You have the access to the generator and your power resources, temperature for your thermostat. You can control the fans from here, slide controls, and then the setup function for the coach. So everything very, very easy to get to, very easy to control right here toward the mid of the coach. Full length mirror, so if you're going out on the town out of the, for the evening, you wanna see how everything looks uh, after you've gotten yourself prepared and ready, you can do that right here. Two ACs on the roof in this coach. And then nice residential refrigerator. This coach is an all-electric coach. It does have a TV on the exterior wall, lots of storage all the way around. We're not going to go around in the video today for the sake of time, but um, you do have plenty of space. And again, you've got a lock here on this so that your items aren't going to just fly out if you take the corner a little bit too fast and things shift as they do in an airplane. Moving on, this is a thermostat. Uh, for your thermostat, for your temperature controls here. Have a door for privacy that closes right here. And I said it's a bunk bed coach, so Renegade has done something a little bit different. Because if you don't want to use this as a bunk bed coach, 
you have the opportunity to simply open these doors. You can lose the upper bed. You've got a hanging bar, clothes bar there. So this can be a wardrobe if there's just a couple of you in the coach and you want to have plenty of space for things that you could set underneath and also hanging items here. Still equipped though with USBs and electrical ports. You've got the TVs to my right here along the wall in the back. And then uh, some windows for both upper and lower bunks. The cool thing is, as we close the doors here, I'm going to show you this. I'm not going to do it in, in, in full, but I'll show you. This whole fascia of that bunk bed, if you want to use it as bunk beds, comes off. So it exposes those bunk beds, and then there are curtains to draw to give the people who are sleeping here a little bit of privacy and maybe darkness if somebody gets up a little bit earlier they still have the privacy that they want a little bit of dark so that they continue continue to sleep but if again you want to use it as a wardrobe voila just like this open the doors hang your things close the doors it's simply a closet you've got some storage underneath in both of these with a mid coach bath and again nice hardwood wood all the way through the coach a radius shower with a seat so for the ladies that like to shave their legs in the shower something they can do very easily solid surface countertop you've got a vanity here a medicine cabinet that opens behind the mirror and then cabinet space and everything essential for your bathroom with a skylight and also an exhaust fan and it has the rain sensor on it so if you have that open it begins to rain a little bit it senses that rain it closes it down you're not getting water in the coach another brain for the coach same as what we saw in the kitchen so you can do exactly the same things that i showed you on the other panel but from right here so from the master bedroom very convenient to get to this to change the temperature check your tank levels uh, look at your shore power your battery levels everything like that moving on back and again a privacy door that closes the wardrobe off or the bunk beds off from the master bedroom and then you've got the washer dryer back here and some people worry about the sound of that with the cabinets with the insulation with the the appliances and everything they're fairly quiet so I unless you're an extremely extremely light sleeper which I know there are those out there it's probably not gonna bother you and just a little bit of rumble or, or you know ambient noise sometimes can help as well. Um, another drawer here, and behind this panel again is the continuation of that bunk bed or the closet, as we talked about earlier, and then a nice king size bed. Another thing that's great that they've, do, they've done here, started to do, is you've got the table on this side. So for anybody who might use a CPAP machine, this table is important for the ability to put the, the machine here you have an outlet for plugging it in, but you can keep other personal items up on these small shelves. And then you've got great storage above with some controls for lights and everything just on the bottom side of the overhead cabinet here, also with a window above the headboard so you can let some natural light in, as well as here above your wardrobe area where you have more hanging space. So if you are using that as a bunk bed space, you still have nice hanging areas in the master bedroom for those items that you need to hang and put away as well as drawers below and a TV for entertainment. So here's the other AC that I mentioned. You can see we've got a real well lit coach because of all of the LED lights that create some real nice great light in this space but enough windows if you have those lights turned off, you still have a great, um, just natural light coming into those windows and then a great mirror back here. So this is pretty much the Verona 40 VBH Transwest RV here in Belton, Missouri. I'm Dwayne, D-W-A-Y-N-E, P-I-N-N-E-L-L. -L. That makes my email, Dwayne, D-W-A-Y-N-E, dot P-I-N-N-E-L-L -L, at transwest.com. My phone number. Please call me about this or any of the 
RV inventory that you see online. And our website is www.transwestrv.com. And again, I can be reached at 816-516-5312. Again, 816-516-5312. The stock number on this coach, again, is a brand new 2022 Verona. And that's made by Renegade, 40 VBH, is 17N Nancy. 210084. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day.